Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to this week's edition of Children's Chapel. Today I'm going to start by teaching you a song called The Lord is My Shepherd. It's based on Psalm 23, which is a part of the Bible. Psalm 23 compares Jesus to a good shepherd and us to sheep who he watches over and takes care of. So let's um, learn the first verse of the song. Listen to it one time. I'm going to sing it. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Now let's try that first verse together. Sing with me. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Great job. Now, before we sing the rest of the verses, I want to make it a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to need your help. I need you to go find something that you can drum on. And no, you cannot drum on your little brother or little sister or on the family pet. If you have an actual drum, that'll work fine. But even if you don't, you can find something in your house, maybe a trash basket or a bucket or a, even a pot, almost anything that has a hard, flat surface. I looked around a church and I found this black pail, which we use to keep flowers in sometimes. And that's what I'm going to use. So go ahead and pause the video, find something to drum on, and then when you have it, turn us back on. Now, I hope everybody found something that they can drum on. Let me teach you the rhythm that we're going to use. It's going to sound like this. Long, long, short, short, long. Try that with me a couple of times so we can all get used to it. Here we go. Long, long, short, short, long. Again, long, long, short, short, long. One more time. Great, I think we've got it. Now it's time to put the rhythm together with the words and the music. Uh, you, we're going to sing four verses in all, and you'll see the words on the screen as we go along. So now let's sing and play, The Lord is My Shepherd. We're going to start with the rhythm. Here we go. We're going to sing, The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He gives me rest in green, green pastures. 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 The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He leads me by the still, still waters. 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 The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. His goodness and mercy shall follow me. 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 The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Hello, boys and girls. 
We miss you so much. We're so grateful that you are joining us for Children's Chapel today. We are again going to read our story out of the Spark Story Bible. So if you have this at home and you want to pause the video and get it, go ahead and do that. We are going to turn in our Bibles to page 160, The Lord is My Shepherd. David, the shepherd, loved his sheep. He led them to beautiful fields where they ran, played, jumped, and kicked up their heels. They ate the lush green grass and feasted on delicious berries. They drank from cool mountain streams and splashed in refreshing waterfalls. David cared for each and every lamb. If one wandered over the hill, David was quick to go and find it. He put the lost lamb on his shoulders and sang sweet songs and hummed soft melodies. Sometimes he played his harp to help the tired lambs fall asleep. During times of danger, David fought against wild animals with only a slingshot and some stones. His sheep were not afraid because David was always with them. David thought about what he did as a shepherd and thought that God cares for people in many of the same ways that he cared for his sheep. One day, David wrote a song to tell everyone God is like a shepherd. God loves and cares for each and every one of us. God is my shepherd. He gives me all I need. He gives me wonderful places to rest and sleep. He lets me splash and play in cool, clear waters. He helps me do what is right. I am not afraid, even in the darkest nights, because you are with me, God, and your protection comforts me. When danger comes, you give me strength. My life is filled with your love, and all I want is to be with you my whole life long. David sang his song to his sheep, thankful for all the ways God loved and cared for him. And now here is Miss Melissa with a message for you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this, I'm glad you're watching Children's Chapel today. I'm glad to be here with you today again. And we heard from Pastor Julie's story about a boy named David who was a shepherd. And we know that his job as a shepherd was to take care of his sheep to take them places to feed and get water, to keep them safe and protected, and most of all, to know each one of his sheep by their name and to love them so very much. So when I thought about what kind of message I wanted to share with you today, I thought about it and I thought about all the things that David does as a shepherd and I thought, you know, I kind of am like a shepherd sometimes too. So. To make things a little bit more interesting, I thought I'd bring along my sheep that I'm a shepherd to. So let's have her join me on the altar step now. Georgia, come. Good girl. Well, if you're wondering, <laughs> if you're wondering when a sheep got to look so much like a dog, wonder no more because of course George is not a sheep she's my four-year-old golden retriever and I am sort of like a shepherd to her and that and that I do a lot of the same things that David does for his sheep and I also have another dog at home too Beckett and he'd be really sad to know that he couldn't be a part of this video today but I brought Georgia because I wanted to share with you her story so Georgia is four years old, but we only had her as a part of our family for the past year. Georgia was from a rescue place. We adopted her about a year ago, and we don't know very much about what Georgia's life was like from the time she was a puppy until the time we adopted her. But when we got her, we saw that she was a very afraid dog. In fact, sometimes she still is. She's a little wondering, she's wondering where she's at right now. She's not quite sure, but she was a little afraid. She didn't wag her tail very much and she never wanted to play with our other dog, Beckett. But day by day, I would feed Georgia. 
I would pet her and talk to her. I would take her on a walk that she loves so much, give her lots of belly rubs. And day by day, a new dog started to come out in Georgia. A dog that was a lot more sure of what she was doing because she was afraid of things like walking down the steps or getting in the car. But all those things that she once was afraid of, she now does. She wags her tail so hard every morning when I get up and she sees my face. And I have become like a shepherd to Georgia, someone that gives her comfort and makes her happy and feel loved as a dog. So when I think about our story about David today and how he is a shepherd, and then he writes a song in Hat and compares himself to God being our shepherd, I think how very lucky and how very blessed we are. Georgia follows me everywhere I go, and she is comfort to know that I am there for her. And God is our shepherd in that God gives us what we need. God keeps us safe and protected. And more than anything, God knows us each by name, loves us so very much, and we can find comfort in knowing that he is with us every step of the way, just like Georgia has found comfort in living in our house. So my friends, the Lord is your shepherd and you can be a shepherd for other people too, but have comfort in knowing that a God loves you very much and is with you. And now boys and girls, we are going to pray together as Jesus taught us before we begin. I want to invite you to take a deep breath. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. God bless you. God keep you safe and make sure you keep washing your hands.